for today's video we're going to be doing your hair products must-haves last week we did the makeup must-have so if you missed that go ahead and watch it I'll link it somewhere here and also in the description bar but for today we're gonna to be talking about hair products now the hair products I'm gonna be showing you are outside of your like shampoos and conditioners because shampoos and conditioners are like you know you, you choose them based on your hair texture and your hair needs okay so if I was to show you that it would kind of be pointless for some people we're gonna jump into the must-haves for I guess hair styling then okay so one thing you must have let's say you just finished shampooing conditioning deep conditioning all that stuff you must must have a blow dryer this right here is the one that I have it's by kiss Red by Kiss, I've had it for a couple years now. Um, it's about time that I change it though because I noticed that it's starting to have this fumy smell, which means it's time for it to go. But it has lasted a really long time. It fell a couple times, it did not break, it didn't crack, it didn't shatter, or anything like that. And I think I paid less than $20 for this blow dryer. And it comes with four different attachments. It comes with two combs and then two of those um, narrow nozzles. Definitely need this. If you have curly hair, if you have natural hair, get yourself a diffuser diffuser attachment you attach it to your hair dryer and it dries your hair without straightening your hair if that makes any sense you keeps the curls intact so if you have naturally curly hair and you want your curls to stay get yourself a blow dryer and a diffuser attachment next must have is a flat iron this is my chi elite flat iron in black and gold you've seen me use this if not in one probably two, two or so tutorials i don't remember but i know i definitely used it in one of my more recent um in my how to flat iron curl video i'll also try to link that if i remember but you must 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 have a flat iron you do not have to get one like this because this one was like a hundred dollars you don't have to get this the only time i use this is for video purposes or if i'm styling someone else i'm styling a client but other than that, you can always go to your local beauty supply store, the same brand, Kiss, they make some pretty good um, flat irons, you can always try them. They come in multiple sizes, you choose the size that fits your hair length, um, you choose the, the type of iron that suits your hair texture. The reason why I love using this on clients is because it's a high quality iron, it's a ceramic iron and it straightens like a dream, especially if you use the right, um, what's the word called, straightening spray or serum on top of your hair, okay? So you definitely need a flat iron. The next must have is a curling wand. Yes, if you have a curling iron, that's also great, but I hardly ever use the curling iron now ever since the curling wand came on the scene probably two or three. No, actually longer than that. Because when I first started YouTube, that's when I got this um, curling wand and that was like four years ago, I believe. So the curling wands have been hit from have been a hit for like about five years at least. Five years minimum, that's how long curling ones have been hot and this is the very first one that I had it looks pretty gross <laughs> and that's because I like I said I've had it for like over four years so all the hair products that was in my hair it got transferred to the iron and this is this this you can find in Target in Walmart any one of those um, drug stores you can find this particular one and this is the Remington curling one if you if you were watching YouTube back in the day like everybody had this curling wand everybody and this one gives you that basic um spiral look it's thicker on towards the base and then it tapers down towards the end now if you already have that curling wand and you want to upgrade your your wand game i recommend getting the cortex four in one now this is what the base looks like it doesn't have the the wand on there but it comes with four interchangeable wand heads or wands whatever you want to call them Four interchangeable wands so you can get the desired curl or wave that you want the bigger the wand the wavier the outcome now to achieve the hair that the, the curls that I had in last week's video I had used the third one I believe I think it was this one I think. or was it the second one it was one of these two right here and then one week later this is what it looks like so the re another reason why I love using curling wands is that you'll have like an awesome hairstyle from the first day to like a week after okay so like this is it now combed out brushed out I haven't curled it all week 
so if you wanted to use less heat on your hair a curling wand is the way to go whereas with flat iron curls or using your curling iron the curls drop a lot faster because those are more barrel curls and you'd have to recurl your hair probably a day or two after the next must have flexi rods okay if you have hair rollers that's great but if you have a longer hair or extensions you definitely want to have some flexi rods this eliminates the need for heating tools like a flat iron or a curling wand still get them because you need those for those days when you don't have time to set your hair with a, with a flexi wand with a flexi rod okay the flexi rods they come in different sizes and each color is a different size so the, all the purple ones will always be the same size they have orange ones gray ones yellow and blue i believe and the yellow and blue are usually the smaller ones and then they get larger from the i think either the orange and up or the purple and up so depending on the length of your hair that's what you would use to determine the flexi rod that you get for my length hair, 20 inches, the purple ones are perfect. If you have like, let's say 26 inches or longer, then you wanna get um, the bigger flexi rods. Next must haves, and these are like super, super basic. You need a wide tooth comb. You must have a wide tooth comb for after you've done um, deep conditioning your hair to detangle the hair. Definitely use a wide tooth comb. Any other comb will rip your hair, will snag your hair. It will not detangle as well as a wide tooth comb. They also have something called a wet brush that I haven't tried yet, but this right here, you can get it in your local beauty supply store. I believe between 99 cents and 1.99 if I'm not mistaken. Next thing you need is just a regular comb. This is what you're gonna use to part your hair. You can also get a rat, rat tail comb and that helps to define the part even better. But if you have this, this is perfectly fine. This parts, this combs, all everything that you basically need a comb to do, your basic 99 cent comb, will do the trick. As far as hair brushes go, you definitely need a boar bristle brush. This brush is by Goody. Goody is one of the best brands when it comes to hair ties, bobby pins, hair brushes, hair combs, anything like that. The Goody brand is one of my favorites. Goody and then probably Conair, I guess. I don't know. But Goody is like like top notch with the quality brushes and they're like a decent price as well. So you're not like breaking the bank for some brush combs and brushes. Okay, so you definitely need a boar bristle brush and this is what you're gonna use to like brush down your flyaways, make sure that your hair is nice and neat. You use it if you want to um, pull back your edges, stuff like that. Definitely need a boar bristle brush. Next brush that you must have is a paddle brush. If you have extensions, a paddle brush will definitely um, comb, brush through your curls without straightening your curls out okay it'll leave them nice and wavy whereas the four bristle brush will definitely straighten your curls or waves more than anything else so definitely get a paddle brush and don't judge me my brush broke <laughs> don't judge me all right but you definitely need a paddle brush with the curling ones you usually get a glove to go with it because they do heat up and because it doesn't have a clip most times you do have to hold the end of it a lot of people like myself don't like using the glove because it it just feels weird. I like being able to touch the wand and stuff, even though it burns like heck. And that sounds weird, but if you're gonna be using a wand for the first time, definitely get yourself, make sure, I would not get yourself, make sure that you use the glove that comes with your curling wand. Next must have some edge tamer. Now the only one that works for my hair texture and I have a 4C texture and usually this is when my hair starts to grow out from my relaxer is the Shine and Jam Silk Edges. This is my Think second time using the olive oil one it's pretty good you can also get the just the regular ampro shine and jam they come in the extra hold and regular hold depending on your hair texture again but this has been pretty good the silk edges I would alternate between the two it, I don't really see that much of a difference but I do like this and this size is $3.99 and I think they do believe they have it a little bit bigger as well so you can get this or the original Ampro Shine and Jam. The next must-haves are hairspray. And I know this is something that not a lot of people like to use, but I love to use hairspray. The So Sexy Style, this is what this is a, uh, a glossy spray, not your average oil sheen. If you have oil sheen, go ahead and use that. But this gives it a nice natural shine to your hair. It, it's not 
heavy when you put it on it doesn't feel greasy or anything like that you can still run your fingers through your hair and not feel gunk all over your fingers okay so this is and this is by Victoria's Secret if you have something similar to it go ahead and use that but you definitely need some kind of sheen spray or gloss spray just to give your hair a nice glow a healthy luster looking Glow. The next hairspray that I use on the regular is the Sebastian Shaper and this is a holding spray. You can use any holding spray you want to, but this is my all-time favorite. I have like hair everywhere, dude. <laughs> but this is my all-time favorite. This holds your hair like nobody's business, okay? This, I, I, how I use this most times, especially on clients, is that I'll spray the hair first, curl it when everything is cool, I'll spray it again. Okay, and then that will leave your curls lasting for like days. Yeah, um, but if you want, you can always spray after you've done curling, before you've done curling, whatever your preference is, or depending on the hole that you want, that's how we use it. But this right here is my favorite. One thing that I almost forgot that you must have when styling your hair is the, is a, I'm oh, sorry, is a straightening serum or a heat protectant. If you can get a two in one, Heat protects and hair straightening serum that you have won. My favorite is the dark and lovely, what's it called? Six week anti reversion cream serum. And this junk right here, I'll use it when after I finish shampooing and conditioning while the hair is still wet. Apply this, blow dry and straighten, and you think you have a fresh relaxer. This is so good. I won't say it lasts six weeks though, because, well, kind of. But then I'll, my, my leave out is always pretty straight. For the most part but I wouldn't say six weeks I'd say like one week and then you have to after you know wash your hair again and all that stuff but this is really good it straightens my hair better than not using it okay so definitely get yourself if, if you have your own personal favorite stick to that but the one that I love is this right here by dark and lovely okay and for all the 4c hair girls out there if you think you can't straighten your hair try this and then come back to me okay those are all the must-haves that you must have for styling your hair all right thank you guys so much for watching if you have any questions leave them in the comment section below if you think there's something that i should have mentioned that i didn't leave it in the comment section below thank you guys so much for watching until next time peace sign and kissy face bye